What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna to be changing the oil in my S550 Mustang 2018 D1X Pro Charge. And before anything else, the only reason I'm wearing this stupid mask is because I'm super sick. I don't wanna get anybody else sick right now. And I kinda of got busted up lip and all that from some street fights. So that's the only reason I'm wearing this mask. Um, it'll probably be off for some clips, whatever. It's the only reason I'm wearing this mask. Before we start this video, just look how clean this BMW is. It's the M4 Competition. That's all I know about it. This thing is gorgeous. I love the wrap on it. I'll tag the owner in the comments. Here's his at right up there. Apparently these brakes alone cost $15,000 for the whole set. These things are crazy nice and I love the wrap. Look at it. I already got the Mustang out front. I already wheeled it back just a little bit. Look how clean that thing looks. I still have to fix that mirror right there. I'm gonna wrap it black. But anyways, let's get the jack stand and let's get the supporting stuff underneath of the car so I can actually have some space to get the oil out. Garage. One hand. So we got the new Harbor Freight Jack along with the Mustang right there. I'm going to load it up underneath and then I'm probably going to use these and I'm going to cover it with some blankets as the jack stands because I don't have any. So we got the car safely up in the air. I'm about to slide the oil pan underneath and I'm going to undo the top one so that it has air coming out so it'll fall, so it'll drain a little bit quicker. We're going to go ahead and slide it right over there. Go right up here and then just do this. Boop. That's it. That way there's air in the system and the oil will drain out a little bit faster. All jacked up. I got the pan underneath. Luckily in the 2018s plus, I don't need to use any of these. I just twist the oil cap off. I have a new one coming in so I'll be replacing that. And it uh, should be fairly simple from here. All right, so we're underneath the car now. Let me put it on point five. Yeah, we're underneath the car now. This is the oil pan. The 2018 Mustangs and Up have ones that you just twist off. They're plastic. I'm going to be getting rid of this one and switching to one that I can actually reuse. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it. You can already see there's oil caked up everywhere. I think it was leaking. It's either that or my actual oil pan. Uh, but I'm going to try to make it into this without spilling anything. So in case you guys didn't see it in the previous clips, a crucial step is to ensure that even though that's a 16 quart pan, it doesn't drain fast enough for the 10 quarts inside the car. So it overfilled, spilled everywhere. Luckily I contained it, everything's good to go. I just put it back in, I just got oil literally everywhere. And just so we don't forget any oil, I'm gonna do this now. This is that JLT Performance Catch Can. Let's see. The oil was pretty dark, but I didn't see any metal shavings or any glitter. Uh, we're gonna find out for sure once I pull the pan out from underneath the car. All right, so it's still dripping a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put the cap back on there because the oil actually hasn't arrived yet from Amazon. It said it's supposed to be delivered today, but we're gonna see. Luckily, this isn't my daily, so I don't have to drive it anywhere. Um, and I don't have any plans except for a car meet tonight. So if the oil gets here, I'll go to that. Get some data logs, make sure everything's running good before I switch to E85 and pulley down. This is what the oil pan kind of looks like right now. Those are like oil particulates, the stuff that was out on the floor that kind of made its way in. Uh, I'm gonna use this little magnet here and kind of just swab around it, see if I can pick up any pieces of metal. But so far so good. It just looks like a really, really old oil. So we got all the oil drained out. Uh, I checked the pan, I didn't see any metal. Uh, this is like sand and stuff because I, you know, I already did the check and yeah, I'm covered in sand and stuff from going underneath the car, but I didn't see any metal. This didn't pick anything up. I don't think it did because, you know, even if it did, the entire inside is like aluminum. So it wouldn't, you know, it's not magnetic, so it wouldn't pick it up. Luckily, I don't see anything crazy. I consulted with some professionals in this area and yeah, they laughed at my little oil spill, but the oil is clean. There's no metal shards in there. Everything looks good to go. So we just got the oil delivered. We got the 12 quarts of 5W50 full synthetic along with the FL500S oil filter for the 2018 Mustang GT. Now, as soon as that, that new drain plug comes in, I'll be putting that in, dropping these out, switching out the filter, and we should be good to go to do some data logging. So now we're gonna be switching out that old oil filter and it's right, you see where the wheel is, you can tell where it's at. Trying this little one, this little black piece. Now, hopefully it's only hand tight, but we know how some shops are. Luckily, I think I can get a good enough grip. So I couldn't get that oil filter out. That's the new one. I'm gonna do the screwdriver and hammer trick, see if that works. If not, I might have to go buy a special tool, which is just ridiculous. I didn't really get to show this because I had some neighbors helping me out with it because I needed an oil filter, whatever grabby tool thing. 
but I managed to get the oil filter. It should be like right underneath there. Managed to get the new one back on with a little bit of oil, you know, rub the side of it with some fresh oil. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting on the drain plug. So as soon as I get that drain plug, I'm gonna go underneath, swap them out, and then I can fill up 10 quarts. I'm gonna put, you know, 10 and a half just to give it a little bit extra in case it drips. That is that new drain plug. It looks really shiny, it looks really cool. It's reusable and hopefully it should stop any of the leaking. Yes, I'm gonna to attempt to do this with one hand, but we got the 5W50. Ooh, look at that. Camera angle, one hand, perfect pour. So we got the oil change finished up. All I've got to do is put the jack stand back down, lower the car. I've got the end gauge here. I'm going to try to get a, a couple of good data logs, especially idle startup. I might go drive around a bit. It is raining outside and I'm on slicks. So that's going to be, that's going to be an issue. But I just figured out how to data log. So we should be able to get some pretty good data logs. Even on pump gas, we'll see just a general idea of how the motor is operating, running, especially with the new oil, see if any of the parameters changed. And uh, after that, we should be good to go to swap to E85 and just full send it. Oh. All right, so we got everything taken care of. Everything's down, moved out of the way. Gotta go inside, you can hear that fuel pump priming. I'm about to connect my end gauge and we're gonna do a little bit of data logging. We got the data log plugged in. I got the screen ready. I'm tapping that. The blinking yellow light means it's good to go. Let's start it up and uh, Let's, uh, let's hope nothing goes wrong. That feels way smoother for some reason. It might just be placebo, but wow. That feels way smoother. I'm doing some data logging now. As you can see, I'm mid data log. I just started the car. I don't want to do anything crazy. I'm just going to go forward and, you know, get a couple clips for the tune so that I can go back and check the logs. Just finished up with the data logging, had quite a little bit of a ride, let it get up to temp. Uh, pretty fun, nothing too crazy. Now I'm just doing strictly only an idle tune. I might go up to 2K RPMs. I don't want to be rude and uh, disrespectful to my neighbors. So I like to keep it down, turn down. Uh, that check engine light, as you can see in that corner right there, that's for my catalytic converters. A quick thing that I noticed, you can see the oil pressure right there, it says 21, 20. Before, I was getting like 13, 14, 15. So I don't know if I just didn't have enough oil or if it was, you know, whatever was going on, but now I'm getting a lot higher oil pressure and I'm loving it. And something you cannot forget is to reset that oil life light. Boom. Now I'm back to 100% oil. Let's see if there's anything else I can do. No, it looks like just the oil, but I reset it, so we should be good for another 3,000 miles. YouTube, it's been a couple of days since the last update in the video. I apologize for the lack of quality in this video. Um, honestly, I just wanted to show you the oil change process. Uh, I tried my best, but I had a lot of stuff going on. The Mustang is now on E85, still pushing about 9.5 to 10 pounds of boost. It's about 800, 850 horsepower, which is still ridiculous, but we had some problems with the data logging on E85. We're running into some knock sensor issues. Uh, I'm like 99% positive that it's just header clearance problems. But we did the oil change, everything's running smooth. Uh, we installed a couple other cool parts, which will be in the coming videos coming up soon. Uh, I just wanted to appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave this video on replay while you go to sleep so you can run up the watch hours. Uh, once again, thank y'all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. Peace out.